Hey everyone, this is Wei and welcome back. Let's do another Game of Thrones character and this time I'll be drawing Khaleesi. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. Alright, let's draw Khaleesi here. Uh, very nice looking photo. Uh, I'm gonna start with her eyes. I'm not gonna draw too big. I'm, I have a 6B pencil. So hopefully it'll be relatively soft and quick. So I'm just gonna start out with her eye, her right eye. Just kind of rough something in. So it's a very generic looking eyeball. And then uh, let's see, looks like she's kind of slanting upward a little bit, kind of this way. So I'm just gonna do a little slant so I can keep myself be aware of the slant. And then the eye spacing uh, usually is one. And in this case, it is kind of one eye spacing the width of one eye, so that'll give me the placement for the other eye. Then let's see. Very big pupil. I mean iris. Okay, then let's go the eyebrow, so we can kind of measure like this pretty very thick, and then the angle, like how far back does it go? We can measure from this angle here. Looks like it's going right around here. It might be a little high. Let's see. Yeah. Well, let's let's just adjust for later when we have more stuff, more um, you know, other parts of the face in there. That makes it a little bit easier. All right. So let's go down. Let's see. Eyes. All right. Let me just draw in a little bit. Okay. All right, so then her nose, uh, there's a huge shadow right there, so we can actually use that for, uh, for reference. So we can actually draw in this shadow line right here. So um, to measure, let's see, go straight down. From the corner of the eye, we go vertical. We, we know we're gonna hit her nose, right? It's gonna go straight down. And then I'm gonna measure this angle right here. This is the harder part. It's kind of this slant here. So it looks like it's somewhere right here. Okay, so there's a few shadow right here. I can actually sketch that in like this. And then we're gonna go to the other side. And if we go straight down, looks like it's gonna meet the corner of her other, the other nostril, the wing, okay. All right, so let's go. There's a nostril in here. We can go down to her face. Not, not an easy face to draw, you know. Again, um, pretty faces are always harder to draw, you know, because it's very subtle, you know, and if you, you know, don't do it as well, then, you know, it kind of looks ugly, and then immediately we know that's not it, right? <laughs> so it's always harder. Okay, so let's see her mouth. We got to keep, uh, keep in mind the slant, so... It looks like the same slant as her eye. So it's very even, her face is very even. Okay. All right, let's go back up. Uh, see, yeah, let's go back up now. So we can do, let's rough in her face. Okay, looks like this needs to be a little bit lower. So now I'm adjusting for things. All right, so let's go and draw the side of her face now. Uh, let's see, let's go this way. Okay, coming down to her nose right here. That's where it kind of tucks in, right? The cheeks right here. And then it's gonna come down. And how, how wide is this distance? And I'm just kind of roughly measuring the angles. And also it looks like it's halfway from his li her lip, the middle of her lip. If you go to the corner, it's halfway. So it's probably right around there. And we're gonna keep going. There's a, there's a little dip in here, that's just you know, the geometry, I mean, the uh, anatomy of a face. And then how far down looks like, uh, if we measure from here, the bottom of the nose to the uh, middle of the lip looks like it's more than that. So we double this and it's gonna be more. So actually, yeah. Actually, I probably wasn't, I wasn't too far off at the beginning. So, uh, 
you know, you know, this is kind of how I measure, and it it works great for you know not just for portraits, but pretty much everything. You know, everything you draw is gonna be a matter of being able to see relationships um, between objects, elements, so that you can measure. It doesn't matter if you're you know drawing a face like this or if you're drawing like a car. You know, you gotta be able to see that spacing, and the more you do it, the more accurate you'll get. It's just it just takes time to. Kind of train your eye to be able to see the subtle differences. Right, let's do her little hairline a little bit because it, it does really, f it frames her face well and it kind of makes it look like her. Okay, so let's see her hair coming down here, tucks in here, right around her lip, comes back outward, goes out, kind of slant this way. Wait, it's, it's going back out now, so. Go back out, comes in, so lump here, lump here, neckline right around there. Okay. All right, let's go back to, I was just kind of helped to frame the face a little bit, but let's go back to the, her eye. Yeah, uh, looks like, I don't know if I'm off or not. Let's start shading. I mean, it looks like it's close enough you know, at the very least, we can draw a pretty face. All right, so let's go start shading. Uh, again, 6B, so I won't be able to, very thick, my pencil is very blunt. It's nice for soft drawings and relatively, you know, quicker shading. Kind of let the little strokes do the shading for you. Now the lighting here, uh, you know, the lighting is coming from the bottom, so it's a little bit different. So you gotta try to pay attention. I'm, I'm seeing like the upper lid right here is like almost completely, not completely dark, but it's very dark. You know, normally you still see a little bit of uh, highlight, but shine because it is, it is cupping the eyeball, which is round, right? But in this case, it's almost black because the light is coming from the bottom. So it's very dark. And then let's see. Right here is dark also. So this under lighting creates an interesting effect. So it's a small drawing, so I gotta keep my strokes a little bit smaller. It looks like I made her eyebrow a little bit too thick at the beginning. That's okay. You can erase that out pretty easily. Okay. All right, so let's go down. Well, let's do her other, her other eye. I'm just gonna do her nose because there's this huge shadow right there. Yeah, I don't know if this looks like her or not, but pupil shading. So I'm not. I'm actually not going too dark. Uh, I know her eyes gonna be obviously a little darker, but I'm actually going very light for a six B. Just in case I have to erase. So this is my second pass. My first pass is basically just roughing in, roughing in the eye <clears throat> placements. Yeah, I might have drawn her eye a little bit too far apart. Uh, yep, yep. That's what I'm seeing right now. I don't know if I, I might be able to adjust for some of it. Like if I extend the eyeballs and you're trying to make the eyes a little bit bigger. All right, so let's shade in this part, her nose. Um, so again, huge shadow. Uh, I'm not gonna make it too dark for now, just because you know you, you might want to just kind of leave it softer, kind of more of an artistic expression thing. 
as long as we can get the feeling that it's being lit underneath, it's okay. Because if we go too dark, you know, the, again, the, the nose, sometimes you don't want to kind of want to, you know, you, you don't want to put too much emphasis on it because it's not the most attractive feature. It's usually the eyes, right? Eyes and the lips. So those are the feature that needs the little bit more treatment so that, you know, we can focus on it. All right, so here's the, her lip is very unique and there's definitely a shadow right here. So that's actually gonna give her, hopefully give her more of a lightness. Okay. All right, so the, the middle of the mouth, this one's dark. little bulge right there tucks in and then corner is always dark right so we can do a little dot right there and then it's got under lighting so uh so this part actually is not as dark you know normally this the upper lip is darker but because the light's coming from the bottom so now we got this the lower lip is darker so there's still a shine so i'm trying to we try to keep some of the white and then in here is dark and then this side is darker too okay. so again my, my strokes are very uh short you know because there's a lot of information i'm trying to draw with for um, in a very small area so kind of have to keep it a little bit shorter so we don't flan things out okay so a lip yeah, her lip looks good. I think it looks okay. Kind of gives her more lightness. All right, so let's finish this brow. I totally skipped it. Let's see, it goes up. Down. So I think, I think if I shade her face right here, right here, which could actually make her eyes look a little bit bigger. Then by doing that, it might make her eyes come, you know, feel like it's a little bit closer. Some shadowing here under under lighting, so you get that. So now you see, I, I'm, I'm seeing all these subtle lighting that I didn't see at the beginning. And that's what happens in, in drawing as you keep working on it. It's like you work in stages and then you start seeing more and more little things. But at the beginning, you got to see the big stuff first or else, you know, you know, kill yourself with details and, or even worse, you might get it wrong. You end up increasing your mistakes. Okay, so now I'm very subtle shading. I'm actually switch pencil. I'm, I'm still using a 6B, but you know, it's sometimes it's very difficult to shade lightly like this. Um, but it does look cool sometimes when, you know, it gives it a consistency. All right, so let's see. Let's shade her face down here, make it a little bit darker. Now her hair is, um, it's kind of white and almost, you know, blonde. So you can't, you know, when you, when, when you shade it, you can't do it too dark or else it's gonna look like she had black hair. So that could be, so that could be a challenge because like her hair is actually, you know, her hair right here is actually lighter than the face. So it might be a little tricky right there. I might just make her hair darker. It's right here, her face is actually a lot darker because it is in, in the shade. Okay. All right, let's do another pass on, on her eye. Gonna 
might want to keep the strong a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to make, let's push in some of the features before I switch pencils or maybe not. I'll continue on with the hair, but I just want to show you more of a finished product. And her eye is definitely very pretty. Okay, so now just, I mean, it just takes a little bit, right? A little bit harder because I kind of have to, kind of have the shapes in there already. Just need a little bit, a little bit more punch. And I'll probably go back in with a, like a sharper uh, 6B. That way it's really gonna give it some punch. Yeah, so, so but right now it's still kind of soft. Very big Irish. So in here it's darker, a lot of little subtle shading in here. And then here, yeah, well, it's starting to look a little bit better. So this is, a, you know, it's, I really like this stage of the drawing because it's like after all that hard work, it's like things are popping out, right? You can feel the, uh, it's looking pretty. You're finally giving a life. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'll finish shading this with a speed drawing and I'll be right back to show you how it looks. All right, I'm back and here is my final drawing for Khaleesi. And yeah, I keep drawing her eyes a little bit too uh, far apart. And one of her features is that she does have very big eyes and they're actually a little bit closer. So I think that in itself really threw the, uh, the lightness off. But other than that, you know, it was uh, yeah, it's kind of a fun drawing. You know, it's a little bit touchy touchy, you know, because of the, it was kind of smooth. And I, I guess I was a little tentative and that really kind of threw me off and I, I and toward the end I really had to go in with a 6B and just kind of shade it and that's when I loosened up and that's when the drawing actually looked a lot better um, th than, it, than it did you know even during the speed drawing part. So overall it is a very you know it's a fun drawing and it's pretty pretty face so hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, if you do please do give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. <laughs>